Have you ever heard of animals eating themselves? You won't believe the reasons behind this bizarre behavior. Sometimes animals have to eat themselves, and it's not always due to hunger. In some cases, it's a survival instinct or an evolutionary trait. This snake, for instance, has lost its head but is still moving and even biting itself. But wait, did you know I haven't replied to any comments yet? No matter what you post, I won't respond. This trapped raccoon is so desperate to escape that it resorts to eating its own limb. It's a horrifying sight, but it's driven by a powerful survival instinct. When wild animals are caught, they become so determined to break free that they'll harm themselves in the process. Here's another example. This python ate a porcupine and died because of it. Adult animals usually avoid hunting porcupines due to their dangerous quills. Even if they manage to kill the porcupine without getting hurt, eating it is another challenge altogether. Spiders have also been observed eating their own legs. This behavior, often reported by people on Reddit, is likely a defense strategy. Spiders don't eat their legs in the literal sense, but rather suck them out using their unique feeding mechanism. Deer often become victims of traffic accidents due to their unpredictable behavior. Every year, up to 220,000 car accidents involve deer, leading to numerous fatalities for both humans and deer. In a tragic incident, a falcon collided with a truck immediately after being released for hunting. Bird collisions with vehicles result in millions of bird deaths annually. The concept of self-cannibalism isn't new. The Ouroboros, a snake eating its tail, is an ancient symbol representing infinity and the cycle of life and death. In captivity, snakes sometimes bite their own tails due to stress or confusion. A notable case involved a female albino western hognose snake in the UK in 2014. Lizards like geckos often eat their shed skin to conserve nutrients and avoid attracting predators. This behavior, known as dermatophagy, is common among many reptiles and insects. In 2016, a bear in China was found gnawing on its own paw to escape a trap. This desperate act highlights the lengths animals will go to in order to survive. Auto-cannibalism in animals can be a survival tactic, a result of stress or a way to conserve nutrients. While it may seem gruesome, these behaviors have evolved to help animals survive in harsh conditions. Let's dive deeper into why these behaviors exist. For many animals, self-cannibalism is a last resort when faced with life-threatening situations. It's a testament to their will to survive. In the wild, survival often means making tough choices. For some, this includes eating parts of themselves to escape predators or harsh conditions. Researchers have found that stress and trauma can trigger self-cannibalistic behavior. This is seen in various species, from snakes to spiders. Evolution plays a crucial role in these behaviors. Animals that can sacrifice parts of themselves to survive are more likely to pass on their genes. For example, Geckos and some lizards can regrow their tails, making it a small price to pay for escaping a predator. This ability is an evolutionary advantage. Historically, the concept of self-cannibalism has fascinated humans. The Euroboros, an ancient symbol, represents the cycle of life and death through a snake eating its tail. In captivity, animals might exhibit self-cannibalistic behaviors due to stress and lack of natural stimuli. It's a sign that their environment is causing them significant distress. While these behaviors might seem shocking, they highlight the incredible lengths animals will go to survive. Their actions are driven by instinct and necessity. Understanding these behaviors gives us insight into the resilience and adaptability of the animal kingdom. It's a reminder of the harsh realities of life in the wild. From snakes to bears, the animal kingdom is full of examples of resilience. These creatures show us what it takes to survive against all odds. Injured animals often find refuge and recovery with human help. While their behaviors might seem extreme, they are part of their natural survival instincts. Conservation efforts aim to protect these animals and their habitats. By understanding their behaviors, we can better support their survival and well-being. Research continues to uncover the mysteries of self-cannibalism and other survival strategies. Each discovery helps us appreciate the complexity of the animal world. Don't miss out on the incredible stories of survival and resilience. Join us as we explore the animal kingdom and uncover the secrets of nature's most resilient creatures. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest adventures. Together, we can spread the wonder of the animal kingdom. Stay tuned for more incredible tales of survival and adaptation in the wild. Thanks for watching. See you next time.